Hi, so you, sure, some of you, really liked looking at the pumpkin and melon farm I did. So I thought I would make another farm related thing. So this thing should give you infinite sugarcane. I also thought that just a sugarcane farm was too little, so I added in a storage system in there. So to make this, you'll need 20 blocks of your choice, 10 sugarcane, 4 pistons, regular, 4 observers, and 4 redstone dust. So you need to start by build building a little wall. So make it a 2x6 wall, or sorry, other way around, 6x2. 3 by 2 sorry. I'm getting mixed up today. So, put your sugar cane down with the sand is, make sure you have the water, how I do. doesn't have to be sand as long as it's like gravel or grass or something. So, we can get some blocks and go out to the side and put all of our pistons in kind of like a, a block behind the sugar cane on the, so it will grow onto the second layer, and then when it gets d detected, it'll push the second row and destroy all the sugarcane. So, just build up a little bit here. It's kind of weird to, oh, it's kind of weird to place the observers from where I'm doing it, but you can get it, and four observers on top like that. So it should look like some something like that. You can break the block. Yeah, you can break the block on top, and then kind of need like a row on the of blocks on the observer. And now we kind of need to, we need to put redstone where the pistons are so it can activate all the pistons. So you kind of make a little row like this where the observer. It's like a one block underneath the observer block. So then I'm putting it on the roof. It doesn't look like I'm putting it there, but it's there. So just put it like that. Now, if you look, we can put some sugar cane here. And when it gets detected, it all gets taken off. Okay, for the next one you'll need 13 chests, 13 hoppers, 9 redstone dust, 3 repeaters, 3 comparators, and 3 redstone torch. Is. <laughs> I also forgot that, but you need a, a few blocks to build with. So, put some chests in like a road, road pattern like this. You should have one left over if you're following the tutorial exactly. So put hoppers into each of the chests, so a like, little tunnel is going into the chest. So, what we need to do now is, sorry, not get on top, we need to make a little thing for the redstone and the comparators so it actually works and filters out all the items. So I forgot a, a few blocks so I had to give myself a few and I forgot again. So. Yeah. <laughs> so put some repeaters like that into that block. Put repeaters on the other, er, not repeaters, tor redstone torches on the other side. That will lock the hoppers in front of it. Which means it won't take items. So then you put your comparators like that. Then redstone dust on each of the blocks that, where it's like going down a little bit and everything. So put hoppers going where the tunnel is going into each comparator. I don't have any leftover blocks, so I'm just going to use a hopper. Put a chest on the side of it like that. But that's not going to take any items into it because the little tunnel isn't going into it. So the hopper stole m my hopper. I'm not very happy about that. But you got it back. Now let's just put them like this. Now we have all the funnels going into each other into the chest. So if it doesn't, if it can't read uh, the item, it can't organize it, so it'll go into the chest on the side. There. So get your blocks that you want and some filter blocks. So 
But for how I do here, the last space is le um, last space is used for your block that you want to filter. So let's do it in each one here. And now we have our blocks. So put 41 of the block you want to filter in each remaining section. So now if we get some more blocks that are the same, when you put them in that top thing, we should see that there's 42 instead of 41, and that is going to the chest. So we can do the same thing with the cobblestone and look in here. It's all good. So now we can go in here and do the gravel too if you want. And it's all filling up. Okay, well that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed these two quick things. Please consider subscribing, liking, and telling your family members and friends. Goodbye!